before we can do that, however, we're going to need to actually add it to our title screen or our draw it um, at the same time as the title screen. So let's go ahead and open up our game one dot, uh, game one dot VB class and we're going to add this new um, menu screen along with our default screens. And I'm going to put it at the bottom so it is the focus screen when it actually comes up. So I'm going to say screen manager dot add screen and this is going to be a new main menu. Now with that, we should actually be able to uh, test this and see our menu on the title screen uh, if it's drawing correctly. Uh, let's go ahead and start the debugger here. Hey, look at that. Uh, it's not perfect. We do have a little bit of a problem here. As you can see, our final options are extending off the bottom of the screen, which is going to be a, a little bit of a problem. Uh, but if you use your arrow keys, you should be able to cycle through the options and looks like that's working pretty well. Um, let's go ahead and try bumping that uh, position up on our menu here. <clears throat> I'm going to go back to the, uh, uh, let's see, our main menu. And let's see, we want to go up to our menu position. That 280 might just be a little too far down. So let's try changing that to uh, about 220 and run the program again. Hey, there we go. So uh, using your W and S keys or your arrow keys, you can go all the way through and you'll notice that uh, it's skipping over the disabled value, uh, the disabled. Uh, selection. So uh, let's go ahead and hit our enter key to see if our selector works. And look at that. You just started a new game. I'm going to go down to options, hit enter. As a programmer, you have many options. So uh, they are invoking in the proper order uh, based upon the index value. Um, next up, what we're going to want to do is actually add some screen graphics to this. And uh, in our last tutorial, uh, we added a menu graphic already to our uh, textures, so you can see that. We're actually going to be using these, these corners and edges that we uh, have on this image. Um, probably not the selectors, uh, but you're welcome to add those later on. They definitely uh, make for some nice effects, uh, so something you're definitely, uh, you, you may very well want to try. Uh, you can also, you know, tweak these images all you want. I will include it in the source code. Uh, anyway, next up, uh, it's up to our menu graphics class. And as I said before, this guy is going to be kind of a beast. Uh, there's a lot of repetitive work that needs to be done here. Um, but in the end, I think you'll find that uh, it'll be a very useful uh, and pleasant looking menu. So let's go ahead and get started on that. 